Hey, what's going on, man? Um, I heard the new Nas record, and um, it's trash. Don't don't try to convince yourself otherwise. It it's a garbage ass song. Um, you know, Nas sounds great on it. I mean, in terms of his vocal presence and stuff. But Nas has always had amazing vocal presence. In fact, um, the reason why people are so excited for Nas in general is that Nas has one of the greatest vocal presences in rap history, period, and has actually maintained that, when other rappers fall off. Usually that's kind of like one of the first things that falls off in rap. People don't even really notice it, but it's like the two major things, their beats start to get horrible, and then their vocals start to get horrible. The rhymes can still be cool, but once those two things go, especially your career is done. And um, Nas still sounds like energetic and passionate and, you know, Nas has never wasted a beat. I've never in my life heard Nas waste a beat. That's how dope he is. And that's why everybody in the world wants to work with Nas. Because they know that at the end of the day, they can give Nas anything. You know, it doesn't even have to be the greatest beat in the world. But Nas will stamp it, kill it, and that gives them cred. Because everybody wants cred. In the world where people are fake, cred matters a lot. And so this brings me to my point about Nas fans. There are two types of Nas fans, in my opinion. There are Nas fans that love him for that gutter shit, the Illmatics, the Lost Tapes. You know, the stuff that, like, Nas is sort of, like, legacy is really staked on. And I fall into that category. And then there's, like, the other Nas fans. The ones that see a dude that is so respected and so critically acclaimed, and they just want in. They don't really care about his music. They they love, they love want his authenticity without the actual grime, if that makes sense. And that's vulture shit to me. Because think about it. If you out here always talking about, oh, why does Nas always have to do boom bap? You know, you're criticizing the song because it's not, you know, primo, blah, blah. Ask yourself this. What makes Nas relevant in 2019? Because I'd argue that Nas is actually bigger now than he was than he ever was. What makes him relevant in 2019? His boom bap shit. Plain and simple. You know, the Illmatics, the Lost Tapes. That's why you care about Nas in 2019. So ask yourselves, what do all those records have in common? They're all boom bap records. They're like actually some of the greatest boom bap ever recorded. So... You telling me that you don't want to hear Primo and Pete Rock and that kind of shit, but you're a Nas fan is so disingenuous to me. It just reeks of fraudulence. I cannot relate to that at all. And I think it's um, unfortunate. But again, this is the nature of how things are. When someone is so authentic with their sound and is, you know, really captures what it's like, the essence of rap at its core frauds are going to show up frauds always show up when shit is really authentic because frauds always hide in authentic spaces that's just how they behave um you know i'll tell you something man i didn't catch nas when elmatic came out um i actually didn't hear elmatic until like 2003 2004 and it, it changed my life like i i heard elmatic and it like changed my life not not even kidding you but um, I heard Nas in 97, something around that time. That was like the first time I heard Nas. It was written. I liked it. You know, I, I didn't like, I wasn't over the moon about it. You know, I, I liked the album. I remember thinking at the time, like, yo, this is really well written. Cause the, the, you know, he had like liner notes and also like the verses and what the, when the CD and stuff like that, like all his verses had been written out and stuff. And um, I remember thinking, wow, do all, you know, rappers sound like look this good on paper? You know, it. Eh, look, I was like 13 or something like that at the time, I think. And um, I was just kind of like really surprised how well and thought out the rhymes were. But I wasn't like over the moon about the album. You know, I love the message, though. That was the record that I actually kept. I think the other ones and shootouts. Those are the two that like I used to listen to all the time. Shootouts and the message. Everything else I was kind of like, eh, on, you know, I just, you know, um, didn't, I didn't care for the rest of it, which is funny now because my favorite record, hands down, on 
it was written as live nigga rap now you know um as i got more and more into hip-hop um live nigga rap and um taken in blood particularly part two um so you know and the message is cool but and it's you know the message is phenomenal but you know i'm much more into the grammy and shit now than i was back then anyway my point is this it was written was okay you know it wasn't like something that to me really floored me at the time i mean i was into mace i was into dmx dmx was around the corner that floored me you know what i mean like it wasn't until the one nas record dropped and i would argue probably brought in a whole new wave of nas fans and that was nas's like when nas's like came out man you you had to have been like listen to hip hop around that time. Like if you were listening to hip hop when Nas's like came out, it, it was it was fucking earth shattering. Like, I mean, the beat. I remember just even the beat was like, you know, it starts off with the chirping birds, and it was just like, what the hell is this? Like, you didn't know where the song was going. It was just like, okay, I'm in the. I guess you know the you know bees. I'm in a garden. I guess whatever. And then that you know, main melody kicks in with the beat and the dude's like freedom of jail clips inserted if a baby's being born the same time a man is murdered the beginning and end and it was like holy shit <laughs> felt like the freaking clouds opened up and god was rapping i i mean honestly that shit made me a nas fan overnight that's when i was like i love this dude and i'm gonna follow everything this guy ever drops that's the record so my point is if you didn't witness that i'm not saying you have to go back into you know 99 and witness it or whatever you can you either witnessed it or you didn't but what i'm trying to tell you is that that's the brilliance of nas so if you can't see that as like that's the kind of nas that everybody in their right mind wants to hear you're not a nas fan you're just not because that's Nas is like, and that kind of shit is is exactly what Nas does best. And why would you not want the artists to do their best work? I'm not saying that Nas should always, you know, do boom bap or always do a certain type of sound. But I am saying that Nas, if you look at his catalog, his best shit has always been that boom bap stuff. And he's phenomenal at it. So why would you not want to hear more of it? Especially if people can give him great shit. Because really, all it takes is a great beat, and you automatically have a classic. That's how dope Nas is. Nas does not waste beats. So if he gets a great RZA beat, a great Swiss beat, you know, a great Pharrell beat or whatever, that's a classic, literally, every time. Nas bats 100. It's, like, unreal. So that's my take on it. I don't want to hear Nas... Rapping over, you know, production from people who don't make rap, who aren't interested in hip hop, like you flirt with hip hop. That's just not my cup of tea. I don't care about that. You know, like I don't want to hear rap or Nas rap on like, the, you know, the Alchemist for the most part, because I don't think Alchemist is that dope. I think he's got some great shit, but, you know, a lot of his stuff is wishy-washy and overrated. Um, I definitely don't want to hear him on Justice League, any of that bullshit. No soft, you know, soft drums, Kanye, none of that shit. Like, why do I want to hear that? Nas is a fly dude who, like, dances on hard beats. When you really think about it, that's his best stuff. That's what I want to hear. So, enough of the shit already, man. Like, Nas, please. Like, you know, you got real fans out here, man. Like, you're not these pretend fans. I bought Illmatic, like, five times. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, when I heard it, I went and bought it, lost it. You know, you know, back in the day, people borrow stuff. You know, people borrowed it, never returned it. You know, that kind of shit. Like, you know, I'm a fan for life, man. Like, I ain't one of these cats that just comes around. It's like, oh, you know, oh, respected rapper. I'm a, you know, I'm a pretend to like him so I can get my clout up. Nah, I really genuinely like Nas. A lot of people genuinely like to do. So, you know. The music has to stand up for it, man. Anyway, later.